All right, everyone, take a look. I'm gonna be showing everyone how to make a grappling partner uh, for a home. I have all the supplies laid out. I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial. Again, uh, my name is Matthew Hache or Professor Hammer Sensei Hammer here at the Auto Academy of Martial Arts. Thank you guys uh, for joining me and let's take a look. Here are all the supplies you're gonna need for this exercise. We're going to need two blankets, a full uniform, gi top, gi pants, a belt, four pool noodles, two pillows, and a sweater, and yes, duct tape, must have the belt, and um, some sticks. I have their uh, skewers, and you could use just about anything. I got the pool noodles at the dollar store. Everything else I was able to get just within my house. All right, where we're gonna start is by putting our noodles together as the arms. So I'm a bit inspired by uh, the GI Joes I used to take apart. And if you guys remember how that looked on the inside, it's kind of how we're gonna do it. So first, I'm going to thread the noodles through the ghee so I get about the right length of the, the yarn, you guys can see. And then I want the end of my noodle to reach to about where the shoulder would be. I'm gonna take my next noodle and I want to get it through the other sleeve. And again, I want to get it just to about where the end of the sleeve is. And I'm gonna feed the other noodle to about the shoulder. So this, you'll notice I've stacked the noodles right where the shoulders would be and the collarbone. So one noodle would represent the collarbone and then the other noodle could represent the shoulders. And then what we'll do is we're going to duct tape the noodles together to maintain that length and width, all right? So that would be the first, first exercise. So what I'm doing now is I'm duct taping the two noodles together at that same spot for the shoulders. the arms together so they don't slide apart. And what I want to have is a space in the middle of the, the two noodles and this will be important uh, for the legs. So now what I'm gonna do is the skewers, we wanna have it go on top of the noodles. And we're going to attach duct tape from each leg through the hole and it's gonna go over the stick. So I wrap duct tape leg and then here I'm going to want to stretch it out and what we're going to look to do is twirl up the tape a little bit or you can fold it All the sticky part sticks together. <laughs> we 
pass the duct tape through the legs. Put our skewers in. We attach our last leg. Now, I've put four skewers through the, the duct tape here at the top. And you guys can see how the legs hang. So there's the arms, the shoulders, and the legs, and I have duct tape just looped over top of the four skewers. Now what I'm going to do to tighten it up is I'm just going to, to twist and I want to keep all four skewers laying side by side and as I twist it'll tighten up and then what that will do is bring the legs tight to the, towards the arms. So I basically get rid of the slack. Now the noodles are tight between the shoulders. Keep rotating. We're just rotating the sticks here at the top, tightening it up. And then what we'll do is we'll duct tape the skewers so that they don't budge. So again, I'm just rotating this, tightening it up more and more. So again, no slack. And what that will do is it'll help the legs from sliding away as we train. So the sticks hold the tension in the legs. And then I'm just gonna duct tape the sticks in place so they won't move. it a little bit more and wrap duct tape duct tape all the way around skeleton of our grappling dummy. So I got the, the legs now, the legs uh, attached to the arms and the shoulders, and you can see uh, the sticks holding on to uh, the legs. So now the legs won't slide away from the shoulders and the arms, all right? And now that's just the skeleton, and now we're gonna build up the, the rest of the body. So next, 
We're gonna use a hoodie, but specifically a zipper hoodie. And what I'm gonna do with my zipper hoodie is I wanna feed the arms through the sleeves. See how I put my hand through the sleeve first, and then I can grab the noodle and pull it through. And the pool noodles are flexible, so it makes it easy to feed it through. There you are. So we're gonna put the hoodie on our skeleton. So now that's kind of like a, a layer of skin on the skeleton. Now to fill up the body a little bit, we're gonna use our two pillows. So first, I have a pretty thick pillow for the, the hood. I'm gonna fill out the hood with the pillow. So it makes like a head, all right? And what's great about this is the string is st still in the hoodie. We can pull and tighten it up so it gives the shape of a head, all right? And now the next step is we wanna put a body to the legs. I'm gonna use Pillow. All right, now the pillow can fit the hoodie, and we can zip it up. I got it zipped up to the neck. And now we can tie the strings off to our hoodie. There you go. Now person has a bit of a neck. Our graphic partner has a bit of a neck now. Has the shape of a head. They got shoulders, collarbone, and legs. And now next step is we're gonna put on a knee pants on our partner. Now to help fill up the legs and the arms, that's why we have the blankets. So we've given our partner a skeleton with the noodles. And you're gonna see that the noodles don't fill up the legs very well at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a blanket to fill it up. So there's the gi pants on our training partner. Now I'm gonna fill up the pants. So we get a fairly thick blanket if you, if you have it, or you could use two blankets. And what I'm going to do is fill the pants just like this. All right. see right away it gives depth to the legs so 
just like so. All right, guys, now look, before we tie the string on the pants, what we're going to do is we're gonna turn our string into suspenders. I'm gonna take from one side of the hip, go across the neck, and from the other side of the hip, go across the neck. So you guys are gonna see how the pants are gonna crisscross. I'm gonna hike them up a little bit more, tighten them up a little more, and this will give me even more string to work with. So it, you'll see how the strings crisscross. So give a good pull on the string, really tighten the waist, pull up. Then behind the neck, we'll tie up the string. Of course, I have red string on red sweater, so I don't know if you guys can see that. But here, I'm gonna tighten it up real good. Another way we can tie up the string, if your string's long enough, Instead of going up in front of the chest, you can actually uh, go up under the armpits. So we can pull up the back, and then I'm gonna cross it. And we can actually feed it in front. And this will help keep all the slack out, keep the pants hiked up as high as possible so we can work with our grappling partner. All right, now once you have that tied off, we're gonna use our, uh, our other blanket, depending on where you put the pillow, fill up our, our partner's body. So just like the legs, to thicken up the legs, we put the blanket on the legs. Now I'm gonna feed the blanket in the, uh, my partner's arms. Get it as long as I can get it. And that'll help thicken up the arms for training. So there we are, put the gi on backwards, and then we're going to tighten it all up here in the front. So last step, put the belt on our partners, hopefully everybody at home knows how to tie the belt properly by now. You're gonna slide the belt across the belly button, crisscross behind the back, and then we can tie it off in the front. And there we go. COVID-19 training partner. So now you guys can keep up with all our live online classes from home. Send me a message if you haven't joined us yet on, on Zoom, and uh, I hope to see yours. Whenever you make yours, send me a photo or a quick video. I'd love to see your quarantine training partner. Guys, always an honor and a pleasure. See everybody real soon.